we have to give some updates on some of the Senate bills that were passed. And some of them were really, 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 really crazy. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in Texas, SB9, it's going to make it easier to send people to jail for voting errors. Um, so if you, for example, let me see what one of the things were. The bill would increase criminal penalties for voting and give prosecutors more power to bring charges against voters and crimes that were previously misdemeanors would become state jail felonies punishable by up to two years in state jail and a fine of up to $10,000. Wow. Tucked inside SB9 alongside measures that would strengthen elections are raising alarms, but the future of the right to vote is in state. This is in the appeal. Um, one of them would make it punishable to have three or more people ride to the polls together. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's scary, um, too. The bill would undermine a very purpose of having provisional ballots and likely violates the federal Help America Vote Act. So there have been previous acts that, because first of all, did you guys watch that movie I told y'all to watch on Reconstruction? On uh, PBS, I haven't checked it out yet. Okay, yep. so once upon a time, the Republicans were the people that- Majority black. Yeah. yeah. And it switched up after Reconstruction, after the South really didn't want to abide by the laws that were established in DC mm -hmm. and they were still down here just kind of trying to do their own thing yep. and the thing that switched it up was that you know the remember black people were only considered to be three-fourths of a person three so three-fifths I'm yeah. sorry three-fifths of a person no I mean three whatever like still, <laughs> right. still not it's a not whole, not a whole yeah. but um it was, that was all about voting mm -hmm. right because if you have x amount of slaves then of course they're gonna vote for what you want them to vote right. for. So there you go, boom, you're good, right? right? Now that everyone is able to vote, they try redistricting, they try gerrymandering, they try all this stuff, and now they're just going because if you move in it, you can't keep doing that whole right. thing. They're trying to come down on that, so they get straight to the individual voters. Texas and Georgia. To me, maybe because I pay more attention to them, probably I'm sure Mississippi, Louisiana, you know, all mm -hmm. Florida, all of them. Yeah. But um, maybe because I've lived these places, and so that's where I pay most attention to. But it just seems like they do the most. Yeah. And I remember on Thursday when we spoke about it, the fact that you can't have, is it up to three people in your car when you go vote? That's what one of the provisions And is that's to me, gearing towards people, black or minorities or whoever, that you can't go carpooling to go vote. And I find that crazy. I find that so crazy. Like, they're trying to find any type of way possible to prevent people and people of color from voting. Section 2.09, section 3.030. Oh, wait, 33.060. Election code is amended to read as follows. A person who assists at least three voters voting under this section at the time at the same time, by providing the voters with transportation to the polling place, must complete and sign a form that, one, requires the person to affirm that the voters are physically unable to enter the polling place without personal assistance or likelihood of injuring their health, and two, contains the following information, A, the person's name and address, B, whether the person is providing assistance to the voters solely under this section or under both this section and subchapter B, family members. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, it's a wild world, man. They're trying to stop us from being great. <laughs> Mississippi considered making the printing distribution of sample ballots illegal this session. Wow. It never made it out of the committee. Wow. It feels like all of these laws are so outdated. When we talk about the carpooling or about somebody can face a death penalty for having an abortion, it's 2019, but we're so behind. We got to follow the money. We're so behind. Like, and that's the thing about paying attention to the votes, the the bills. On the local level. On the local level. Who you vote for. Um, who you vote for. Yeah. <laughs> um, because, like, I heard David Banner talking about this. They mm -hmm. have people that lobby and that people that go there specifically to Hobnob and Goober Smooch with the politicians. Yes. So yep. that they can have them in their pocket. Yeah. Okay. That's so it. you could pass these laws. You got to do this for me. Here's a prime example. In Georgia or any state that has the hands-free law, mm -hmm. what happened? 
Everybody had to go by that thing. Or even if you didn't, now when you drive, you have to be cognizant of, oh, that's a car right oh, there. I'm not Let buying it. My phone I just don't. Yeah, want yeah, yeah, I just. I'm. Yeah. I'm just. I just want to use my phone. I just right. want like don't call me. Don't it. text me. I'm it. driving. Like I'm not gonna be made to buy anything. Yeah. And two, let's say that the companies for the um, car mounts had their own people lobby. That's so, what I'm so saying. So their their rates it could that's go up on that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's very interesting. So when you buy stock in the stock market for a company, you want to buy stock in a company that has something that law makes. Because then you're forced to have it. A seatbelt, seatbelt companies, things like that. And it's a corporation. So why do you think a lot of these states are not even tripping about even trying to get public transportation? That's true. Privatized business. It comes to the Ubers or it comes to the Lyfts, taxis, all that stuff. You know, even in school, I was talking to one of my advisors about this, and he told me that the reason why, you know, you get people's names after buildings, things like that, because these people do favors for each other. Like, I'm going to give you five meals, so you just name this after me, then you can build me a statue or something. And they so, in Texas, they say, is, is really, is usually the testing ground mm. for bad voting rights bills. <laughs> like, they, they push it out in Texas, see yeah. if they snap, mm -hmm. and if they do, they try it in other states. That's some scary stuff, man. It's just people have to be aware, and we have to look at the bigger picture, and we have to ask, why are these laws being passed? So, because I haven't seen anything like this before. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. You got stuff like the Tim Tebow Act being passed. It's like, just making up stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. They So, let's see, what else does SB9 in Texas do? Is anybody, somebody in Texas has got to be listening to this, because y'all really need to pay attention. Um, Threatens voters with jail time and I can't read this. Enormous fines, we know that. I just think that you know you gotta pay attention to some of these bills that are passed. They say hell no, but yeah. at the at the time, and we talked about this before too. Mm -hmm. At the time when it's a bill, you have to show up down at the state house and be like, we don't let want your this. You have heard. to let your voices be heard. You have to make yeah. the phone calls. You gotta show up. You yeah. got you know what I mean? Like show up for stuff like that. It's real. That's real. Sheesh. We got to. And again, we can't get so focused on the bigger picture when it comes to the governors and when it comes to the president. Like we got to think about local stuff, like councilmen, judges, His all that. His ass too, though. We're going to talk yeah, about yeah, something yeah. that well, he did in a second. Do these bills come around like every year or is it like mm -hmm. during election Great time? question. Um, I think it's every two years. Every two years, okay. You can get a new bill. Yeah. I got to find out, but I think it's and every you, two they years. They passed like in May. Like they, I mean, they, in April, like around this time, April, you know, when you see them talking about it, you can turn on the news, your local news. I know everybody's mm -hmm. bad, you know, things that. Yeah, I don't nobody watch the news. Right. No, People I, only have TV. That's real. Like, TV you could go on Facebook, real. Instagram, they have pages, the news, the but local but news. Most I'm people not saying get their news gotta, from the shade get, room. Right. Now, like, <laughs> but that's where they people, get it from. People, yeah. Like cable, our cable is social media, and you basically get to pick your channels. True. You get to pick what channels you want to watch, like. No I commercials. I'm not about to follow ABC. And then so watch it for like an hour. And you got to wait for the commercial. In, if it don't come in my life, like if I follow this. and it, That's all that right. Don't, don't watch life, it. We'll let y'all no, know no, what's Yeah, going that's on. what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It take like people like us. Yeah. People that's influencers to put that, to relay that information. Exactly. Simplify it too, because I think people get intimidated somewhat, you know, when they see the news because they don't see themselves. It's people talking proper, wearing suits and stuff, all that. So, yeah. So it it's will make on, basically SB nine is gonna make honest mistakes like you know going to the wrong place to try to vote blah 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 you could get arrested for all that stuff, amongst other things. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Crazy. Another thing that happened, um, Trump. Hold on, while we while we on the bills. Yeah. I uh, I was I did some research on that uh, journalist bill. Mm. Uh, what'd you find out? It's crazy. It's uh, man, I just had a brain freeze. I know I hate that. <laughs> I get brain freeze every time I get in front of this microphone. I'll be like practicing, talking about but what it, I'm gonna talk about. It was basically, saying, it was basically yeah. saying how they gonna start like they 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 plan to start finding them. At first they thought like the people, the journalists, and they thought it was a joke, and they was like, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, right? whatever right? No, so they they're gonna yeah. Start finding them, they gonna start like you gotta basically turn over all the like you were saying, you gotta turn over all the materials to the people. Wow, wow. And it was um. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. It just, it don't make sense. It don't make sense of why you would have to turn. It just make, it just, 
They want to control that narrative. They want to control what you That's exactly what it is. It's like Nazi Germany. Yeah. It's scary. But it's, it, it ain't unless they ask for it. You don't have mm-hmm. to give it to them unless they ask for it. Oh, okay. But if they do ask for it. Yeah, you got to give it to them. Because it was saying so it's up to them. Like the that, that bill comes up for vote in 2020. And they uh, media outlets have since reported that um, Welch, the guy that introduced the bill, he resigned. Okay. But, He's a re- Republican, Timothy Barr. You know, it's funny because they always talk no, about Andy fake Welch, news. I'm sorry, Republican. But Andy it's Welch. like, wouldn't that be fake news? Because you're controlling what they can and cannot say. Exactly. Wow. Journal. Okay, so for, any, for everyone who doesn't know what the journal, journalism bill is, this is what it, it would do. They would be re- journalists would be required to provide free copies of audio or video recordings as well as photography to anyone they interview. Mm-hmm. Wow. The Georgia chapter of the Society of Professional Journalists denounced the bill in a statement saying it conflicts with the First Amendment. I was just going to say that. This bill clearly meant to intimidate journalists and show the important work of holding powerful people and organizations accountable for their actions. (laughs) The bill will also hold journalists to a higher standard than the legislators. Oh, they came for them. Wow. Because the Georgia General Assembly and its offices are exempt from open records requests. Wow. Yeah. So, you know... A lot of agencies are not exempt. So that's how news reporters mm-hmm. get this information. And you yeah. and I can get the same information. Exactly. And you can get this information. Mm-hmm. Because they're subject to an open record. Most police stations, have stuff like that, you have to like be able to go get a record. Yeah. News organizations will be required to provide their work to sources free of charge while government agencies charge. When you wow. get those open records requests, and that's why a lot of people don't get them. Because really, I mean, you have to pay for them. But the journalists will be required to hand over their stuff for free. <laughs> yeah, so it's just not right. I wonder how much of that got to do with Trump. Well, not of, a lot of it. But no, that, is that just Georgia? That's just it trickles Georgia. down though. Like that yeah, is just only in Georgia, ain't it? Right. Yeah. Okay. But as we already know, Trump he has minions. But <laughs> CNN around. is in Georgia. <laughs> CNN right, is in that's Georgia. What I'm yeah. Mm. I said Trump, he hates I know CNN. He had this fight with the media. He's been having true. a fight with the media <laughs> since he started. He, he remember he <laughs> didn't even have press conferences for like the first six. I mean the guy is ridiculous. Yeah. He is ridiculous. Yeah. And all of, all those Trump supporters out there, y'all must feel real stupid because everything he said he was gonna do. He's guess what it. he's saying now? Oh. It'll get done next time. Elect me again. Right. That is just another tactic to get him in there. And lure you back to in. To avoid him from getting prosecuted mm-hmm. for his it. crimes. He, we still haven't seen his taxes. That's it. I need people to pour more energy into the 2020 election, considering it's only 18 months away. Mm-hmm. I don't hear people talking about any candidates at all yet. Do yep. you? I, I mean, I know we had one we was going to talk about today with the um, with the reparations bill. Yeah. Yeah. Corey well, Booker. Cory Booker. That's yeah, one person I've running for. Sanders. I've heard Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie. Uh, I haven't heard much about Kamala Harris lately, but, you know, I, I definitely have heard about her. On the Republican side, I haven't. I don't know who's running on the pu- Republican mm-hmm. side. Or yeah. if, if it's. Uh, I think it's like the same crew, as always, the yeah. same Republicans. I mean, you know, the Ted Cruz's. It's really nobody that can run, though, because Trump is the Republican candidate. So it's just and then too, like I don't no, see. No, you. Oh, can, yes. Yeah, but I just don't. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm they tripping. run and they. Yeah, he has yeah, to yeah, re. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I don't see anyone that can take Trump's votes. That's a Republican. I don't I know don't, who's running. That's a Republican. Ride, like Republicans yeah, ride for him. Republicans ride. Well, Republicans that's why because they know that he yeah. got them. Like you know. And I don't know what he's done. Well, we do know what he's done. He's just giving he's, them an opportunity to be racist. And exactly. Make it, make it cool to be racist. There you go. There you go. Because I think that white people feel so much pride and racist white people feel Don't so even much pride. say white people. Say racists. Racists. Because white we're racist seeing, people. I'm seeing a whole group of racists from all, all areas. And you know what kills all me races. too? When I see Hispanics who vote for Trump. Cause I'm like, he because they most made definitely it over, don't like baby, you. Baby, you should get it. Cause they're just like black people and they made it to the other side and they don't care if you make it or not, uncle, whoever. You when stay over yes. there and I made it. Yep. I'm gonna stunt on you. Yep, that's and it. I'm gonna come to Mexico in my Versace outfit and you can't get one cause you can't come. That's how they do. That's how people that's do. scary, man. That's scary seeing that when I see us, some of us. We do it too. Trump. Exactly. So. I don't know, but I don't see Trump losing. I really don't. I do. 
Yeah, we'll and see. And y'all better stop saying that because y'all said that last time and he got elected. It's not gonna be the end of the world though. We're gonna be okay. We, we gonna be all right. Yeah, we made it. We make it. And, like, we people, make it through. People have all to that understand stuff. that we've had presidents who's had slaves. Like it's <laughs> right. okay. Like we're not gonna die. We're gonna be okay. We make it. Yeah. Thanks to our African spirituality. Right. Exactly. They be trying to crack on all the time. Okay. They was wondering what that, what was that? How do we, we were making it? And we were being healthy and we carried on something. so long. Somebody was they, they were just like, what are they doing? It's voodoo. We, they get, no, you can't do that. That's what happened it's back demonic. in the day. Yeah, it's demonic. Yeah, okay. Okay. And two, you know, speaking on that, I think that that's why Nip's mom, why she's such at peace. It, exactly. It, she's so Because she practices her African spirituality. She stepped up to that podium. She called on all. She didn't break down. All his family members that died before him to welcome him into into That's deep. the spiritual realm. That's deep. So when we were African slaves out there in the field, when they were killing us and we would go out there and start practicing our African spirituality and our burial routines, which in some places like New Orleans, they still practice. To this day. Um, anyway, back to, back to 2000.